What's going on guys, Bradley Martin here. Today I'm gonna do something not really that different, but a little bit different. The Snapchat Q&A. I wanna try and make it more concise and a little bit quicker, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer each snap. I'm gonna give myself 30 seconds to answer that person's question. So each snap, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question within 30 seconds, and if I don't, I'm losing the game. So let's see what we got. So anyways, let's tell them on Snapchat first. What's going on guys? You gotta ask me some questions, fitness, non-fitness, it doesn't matter, I have 30 seconds to answer them. Send me your snaps right now, let's do it. Send them now! Okay. Okay. Now we wait. All right guys, so this Snapchat Q&A thing, I want to bring something a little bit different, uh, something I haven't seen any of the YouTubers doing, um, although now you might start seeing people do it. But I just want to bring something different, some unique, so that you guys can get the most out of this and have the most fun while we do it. Um, and so that I'm not boring sitting down in my office doing, like, reading questions off. Because that wasn't as fun as this. Snapchat's way funner. Seeing you guys' faces is way funner. Seeing you guys smile is way funner. So, or way more fun, or more fun. Funner is not a word. More fun. Don't call me on that. If you guys put that in the comment section, I already called myself on that. Don't call me on that. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, ready. Bradley, how big are your biceps? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a question. He just showed me his biceps. It wasn't a question. It didn't count. Hold on. We got more. Don't worry. We're going to make up for that last time. What's going on? The internet hates me. Hold on a second. Yo, Bradley. Why are you so fucking beautiful? <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 uh, seconds. Uh, in short, uh, my mom and my dad made me that way, so. Yeah. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. That was quick, it was a good answer. It was 10 seconds. Hey, hell yeah. Making good time. Oh, so for post-workout, do you take a supplement or do you just strictly eat food? If so, what supplement and what are the basic supplements that you would recommend to take? Right now, so how much time do I got, bro? This is, oh God. Uh, right now, as far as supplements go, post-workout, I don't take anything. Right now, I, I go straight for food. Um, and it's normally like, because I'm kind of trying to gain a little bit of weight, it's normally me eating food that I probably shouldn't necessarily be eating. So right now, it's not supplements. Right now, it's, it's whole food. Good. Okay, what was that? That was 20. Ha! I'm on a roll! Hey Bradley, I'm a 5'6", 310 pound college student with a miniature thyroid problem. How should I go about losing weight and building muscle like you? All right, check this out. I'm glad you sent me that snap. This is super important. You need to go to your doctor. You need to make sure you're getting the right medication because you can't fight an uphill battle when it comes to hormones. If your hormones are really messed up, you have to make sure you're doing the right things that are going to make the hormones come back to normal. Otherwise, it's a really uphill battle. So make sure you go to your doctor, get checked out, make sure you have the right medication to make you successful. So don't beat yourself up if it's not happening now. Get the medication, get yourself on the right track. What? 25 wow. seconds. 25 seconds, and I was distracted. It's okay right. though. No, you're good, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, 25 seconds. I'm in the, I'm in the zone right now. I'm, I just can't be phased. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh my God, what do you go? It's gotta be a video. Yes, you yeah, yesterday. Oh, sweet. I was gonna ask how it fix uh, muscle balances in the chest. Thanks. All right, so as far as muscle balances go, this is the quickest way, and this is the quickest answer I can give you. Try unilateral exercises. So bilateral would be like if you do a bench press with your both hands, right? Both hands, bilateral, both sides of your body. Try unilateral. So get a dumbbell, do, do single arm presses, right? Alternate. So try a bunch of different variations, and that's gonna be your best bet as far as like fixing imbalances in like the, let's see if you're thinking as far as like, Gains go in the chest, like one side being bigger than the, or smaller than the other. 25 seconds, I'm done! Uh. Yeah, sorry, I just, I kind of cheated that one. I right, get some more. No more cheating, bro. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. No, I want to hear you ask the question. That doesn't count. I'm gonna hear you. I let that count. It's cooler. Oh, okay. Hey, what day do you think we need to wear a belt for rows, deadlift, squats, things like that? Thanks. God, I hate to say I couldn't understand exactly what his question was. Skip? You, you gotta skip, skip it. Hey, Bradley, what is your take on facet training? 
when it comes to cutting? That's a cool question actually. I love training fasted. Actually, most of the time, I end up training fasted just because I don't really have a good, a good appetite earlier on in the day. And that's normally when I like to train. So I, I do most of my workouts fasted. Um, and it seems to be working for me. So, but as far as like fat loss goes and, and maintaining muscle, I think it's a great way to do it. Um, you just have to make sure you're getting the most, of the, like the rest of your calories in that you need throughout the rest of the day, and not skipping that as well. So, cool. man, I'm on fire! I am on fire! 24 seconds, on fire, man. This is like, what's that game? Uh, what's that NFL game where you get to get on fire and run through all the people? You guys know what the name is. Put it in the comment section. There's a game. Uh, Blitz, NFL Blitz, is that the You mean football? Where you, yeah, it's a football game. Where you're playing a video game. Football. It's a football yeah. game. And you get on fire and you run through all the people. It's not Madden, because they didn't do it. It's like, anyways. Or NFL Street? I don't know. Anyways. When are we getting meal prep Mondays? Oh, meal prep Mondays. So I need to get back to this. And the truth is, um, we're working on currently at Lean Meals getting into a new kitchen, which is like right around the street from this gym. So I'm gonna be able to get in there and I actually we have like an actual set kitchen that we're gonna be able to do really cool meal prep Mondays for you guys. It won't be every Monday, but it will be more than never. So I'm bringing it back. Yo, you know what the best part about this is? The best part about this is this is the so improv. Yo, you see, you see it? I'm making this shit up. I mean, well, not really like. Let's go. Yeah, you know, it's just like, it's on the fly. Cyril is actually feeding me lines. He has like a teleprompter back there. <laughs> and he's like, read this, read this. He's like, say, answer this, answer the question. Um, All right, hold on. Damn, I feel like I'm missing some of these people's stuff. There's yeah. a lot. Brandon Bart. Bradley, what do I gotta do to get, to be able to work out with you for a day? Oh man. Um, Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a contest on my YouTube in the next couple months uh, Doing exactly that so that you guys will win a chance to come work out with me whether it be at barbell or, or You know gym in your area. I want to travel. I want to be all over so that's coming soon So just make sure you stay tuned and you'll have a chance and opportunity to do that. So I appreciate the support by the way Okay God dang all this hold on God, there's so many I don't know which one. I'm sorry if I'm not picking on yours. I'm sorry. There's a lot Okay. I got a question. What days do you do what workouts? Like what day, what, what's your schedule for lifting weights and stuff? Like when do you do leg day? Yo Bradley, what day? Okay. So he's asking what days do I do my workouts? Now, the thing about it is, the real answer is it doesn't really matter when I do my workouts because you want to figure out what's going to be best for you, right? I know what's best for me. You may not necessarily know what's best for you, but what's best for me may not be necessarily best for you. So don't get caught up in when you work, which body part, just make sure you're doing everything completely and you're, and you're giving it your all each time. So focus on that first. Man, I'm, just, I'm a star, I right? 24 seconds every time. That's like, it's like ingrained in my brain now. You can't beat me at this game, Nadine. You can't beat me, man. Why gotta be so mean? I was wondering if there was any challenges or problems you faced on your way to being where you are now. So challenges, things that I, man, shit, I don't have, I can't answer this one in 30 seconds, man. Um, but everybody has their own issues. Everyone has their own like demons, their own things that they deal with, those things that they struggle with. And I definitely have my own and I cannot answer that question in 30 seconds. But check out some of my old Q and A's. You might find out a little bit more about me. Uh, but yeah, everyone has their own stuff. So I still want to win this game. <laughs> I keep cheating. So they'll be in charge on the 15th today. Okay. And hey Bradley, what's your favorite? exercise man it doesn't count man you gotta show your face you can't ask questions without showing your face man and my favorite ab exercise just because i'm gonna be i'm gonna be generous on this one uh, i like hanging leg raises sure got legs up. actually anyways johnny travis uh, let's hope this is a good one let's hope this is a good one what's your secret to taking so many good selfies <laughs> uh do we have enough time i don't know man there's a lot of tricks here a lot of tricks to the train of the selfie uh the selfie game. Um, I'll make it really simple though. Lighting uh, and lighting. A camera, you gotta have a camera. And a camera. Got him. Yep. 21 seconds. Times you do train biceps and triceps a week. Do you like, uh, How many times do you train biceps and triceps a week? Every day. 
Just kidding. Uh, twice a week, twice, three times a week, maybe four or five times, maybe six, seven, six, seven times. Probably about seven times a week, but who's counting? No, I seriously don't. I don't seriously train that many times. So you guys think I'm crazy? I train like twice a week. All right. Bradley, just like everybody else, I want to know how I can get shredded abs and still get big. So lean mass, I guess. How can I achieve that? Please help me. I'm glad you asked, my friend. I'm putting out a, a, a really dope ebook series about about macros, about dieting, about gaining lean mass, about getting just mass in general. And you guys got to understand, um, no matter what you do, you kind of have to focus on one thing at a time. You got to focus on like, do you want to get bigger? Do you want to get leaner? Right? Your body can't necessarily do both at the exact same time, but you can kind of find the line where you're comfortable and do what you want to do at the time and still get that complete package in the end game. So that should always be your goal. But don't, you, it's hard to get bigger and super lean at the same time. That's hard to do. 27. 27. I am on fire, man. Pass me the rock. I mean, I guess, anyways. You can help me so much. How'd you do it? Like, you're really awesome. It's Ari from London. See ya. Yeah, man, Bradley. Yeah, man. Bye. So much love. I appreciate it. That wasn't a question, but thank you. And now for the next question. Which one should we choose? This this is like a girl's name. I hope it's not a guy. I hope I don't offend anybody, but we haven't seen a girl yet. So we'll click that one. What's up, Bradley? Are we gonna work out together or what? I feel bad. And same thing, so same answer. We already answered this early on. I'm gonna do a contest on the YouTube soon, so make sure you guys check that out. We gotta find a girl, man. How do we find a girl? No girl Snapchat me, by the way. None. It's all guys. Put on another one. What? Only girls this time. Yeah, we'll do a girl one next time. Cause this is. Then we get guys like wearing like hair nets and stuff or like uh, fake wigs. Okay. Hey, Bradley. My question is about knee wraps. Should I invest in some knee wraps when I squat? And do you use them? Okay, that's a cool question. Do I use knee wraps and should he invest in knee wraps? Uh, I do use knee wraps every once in a while. Not all the time. Should you get them? It really depends. If you have pain or if you have issues with your knee and you want to you want to feel safer, then yeah, you can try them out. You could use them, but I don't use them every single time I do anything. I'll use them if like my knee starts to act up. And then if not, I'm not using them. So. That was 19, man. I'm on fire, man. Look at this. Look at this. I'm on fire. Oh, sorry. All right. Oh, wait. Can we find a girl? Can we find a girl? Yo, where they at? Where they at, though? Tony the Pony is not a girl. All right, let's try this. All right, so, Bradley Martin, do you think deadlifts helps your abs? Because... I think it does, and people say it doesn't. I think any compound movement that you really exert yourself and you, and you try your hardest at can help your abs, can help your abs development. Or if you're thinking about abs, I'm assuming you're talking about being lean. So I think the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, these big compound movements where you involve the most muscle mass will help you burn the most body fat. That's a fact. So do they help your abs? Yes. Simple, simple answer. This is not a video. What's good, Bradley Martin? My brother be doing them drop sets and super sets, man. Getting no results, man. Any advice and help for this brother? He said his brother, which I think he's talking about himself, does drop sets and super sets and he gets no results. If that's all you're doing, try something new, try something different. Try and just try pyramids. Try and just each time you work out. But the, the trick about this is not spilling a drink. Ah. Uh. Uh. It's, it's, it's never here. It's all over there. Anyways, the trick about this is you have to stick to something. So whatever you're doing, stick to it and then follow it through. So I mean stick to it. I don't say do it for a week. Try it for a couple months. See if you get the results, right? Instead of just saying like, I'm going to try this and then try this and then try that. And you're never really going to get solid results. All right. So let's do a few more of these. Okay. Yo, man, chill. What are you doing? Chill. What is that? Yo, just stop, bro. Bro, this is, what is that? These are BCA. Uh, just chill, man. There's no sugar in these, all right? Get off my back. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. All right, hold on. Oh, my God. Is it okay to train chest and back on the same day? Is it okay to train chest and back on the same day? 
Okay. Yes! It is. That's one of my favorite things to do, actually. I like training heavy chest and like a higher volume back. It feels phenomenal. So absolutely, it's okay. Um, there's no rules against that. So do it. Man, that was a 12 seconder, man. God, I'm like, ugh. I don't know what that was, but. So easy. Keep giving me those easy questions after. And this is why, um, depending on what kind of cardio you're doing, your body can basically use up stored energy that can better assist you in like heavier lifts or lifting weight, right? So if your whole goal is like you want to get bigger or whatever it is or leaner, I'm telling you, try the cardio after the weightlifting routine so you can make sure that you have the most amount of energy ready to use against the weights instead of the cardio, right? Because the cardio your body is, is better at. Uh, you didn't even start the, you didn't, you didn't start the, this is, you didn't start the thing. It threw me off. <laughs> no, but yeah. It's a freebie. It's a freebie. That's a freebie. Okay, so uh, I'll Nadine, call. Let me, Nadine fucked up. Nadine messed up. Let me call. Let me. Can, let me, can I call someone? Uh, Sarah, can you help me with this question, please? Sarah, can yes. you? No, I, I answered it. We're good. We'll move on to the next one. Yo, get up. No. That wasn't weird at all. What was that the wasn't weird. That wasn't weird. That was pretty uh, weird. It was very weird, and you filmed it. <laughs> it was on the internet now. All right, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 I lost it. How did you begin training? What was the base? Was it based around power training? Did you, how often did you train? And did you, how, what type of principles did you? Okay, so he asked when I first started training, how did I train, all right, and what was, what was it like, the style of training? So my style of training when I first started lifting was like I wanted to do everything heavy because I worked out with guys who were much older than me and much stronger than me. So when I was working out with them, I was constantly pushing myself to the limit every single set, every single rep, every single time. And that's how my style of training had kind of like adapted, excuse me, over time. And I still train like that, but not as often, right? So now I have a little bit more variance in my training. Oh, excuse me, got it. All right, hold on, okay. What is your favorite exercise for top development? Top, he said top development? Meaning like upper body? I'm guessing, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll pass that one. Pass that one. Bro, seriously? Like, don't put this in the video. <laughs> chill. <laughs> chill, let me do this on myself. Let me do this, let me eat this sugar in peace, man. I think it's sugar free though. Oh, it's, it's just protein. It's, it's just protein. protein in there. It's protein drink. It's a new thing I, uh, I'm coming out with. Go to, uh, what is it, Bradley Martin online? BradleyMartin.com. Yeah, BradleyMartin.com. Mm -hmm. To buy them. Be in fit shop, buy shirts, all that stuff too. Just kidding, don't do that. Or if you want. All right, hold on. No, I couldn't even understand them. Cut that one. Okay, it's gotta be loud. So Bradley, um, what's the best way to fix muscular imbalances? Thanks, man. We already answered that. So do another one. Yo, Bradley, just wondering if you have any uh, tips on deadlifting for taller people. All right, so tips on deadlifting for taller people. I'm a taller person. I'm six foot three. Um, honestly, you gotta figure out where your best foot placement is, your best hand placement is, and that's also gonna depend on if you're flexible enough to get into that position. So, a rule of thumb, everything should be uh, very taut. When I say taut, I mean like everything should be tight, right? But you should be in, in sharp angles, right? You shouldn't have a rounded back. Your knees shouldn't be like super far forward. But, this is kind of hard to answer in 30 seconds, but I'm doing my best. Oh, and I, uh, lost! I lost! That's so hard. Oh, one deep. But I had like 20 though, so damn. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh my gosh. Get flexible, that's the best advice. What's up Bradley? Other than looking good, what is your biggest motivation to get in the gym every day? Um, my biggest motivation to get in the gym every day other than, like he said, looking good, is for 
you guys. And I mean that because this right here, what I'm doing now, and this, these games and all this stuff, and being able to help you guys is so damn fun. This is what it's all about. It's not about like, let me go and be the most popular guy here. Let me go and, and get the most likes or the most love or whatever. It's the fact that you guys get something out of this and you enjoy this. And I did it in 30 seconds. Yes! Sorry, I get high. Anyways, next question. <laughs> all right. I think this is a girl. It's gotta be a girl. I should stop saying that because like, it wasn't a girl last time. Recently, I have had a problem with my wrist. He already asked me a question. Girls, and I, I think I'm doing the right, but I'm not sure. What was the, what was the question? Was that an actual question? I have no idea. No, we'll cut that one. Yeah, I was wondering, do you got a favorite body part to work out? And if so, which one is your favorite one to work out? Like, which one is your ultimate favorite? <laughs> God, I hate to answer this. Biceps and shoulders. Uh, biceps and shoulders, seriously, well, that's, that's the answer. My favorite stuff to work out. Uh, it should be legs, don't judge me. <laughs> one more. UK BM Fit, what up? Look, he made a symbol. Hey, that's not a question though. One more. Hey Bradley, I hear if you're trying to up your bench press, then pyramid sets is the way to go. It's really effective, is that true? Guys, this is a really important rule of thumb. He said, is it, is it most effective to do pyramid sets to up your bench press? There is no single best way, right? It depends on what you've been doing, what you're doing now, what has worked for you, what hasn't worked for you. So it's all about figuring out what's gonna be the best for you. And it's not what someone says, oh, this is the best, or that's the best, that's the best. You need to try, and you need to uh, perform, and you need to adapt, so you need to get better through your own means, right? So you could take people's period, like uh, periodization, you could take the, the concurrent, you could do pyramids, you could do drop sets, supersets, whatever it is, but at the end of the day, you have to stick to something, you have to try, you have to work hard at it to figure out if it's working best for you, and then try something else. Damn, that was two seconds off. That's okay, so that's it for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So much more coming soon. I try to keep it a little more tighter, a little bit more condensed, so the video wasn't 24 minutes long like my last one. If you guys like to see more of these, uh, give it a big thumbs up, comment, um, I'm gonna do this, actually I wanna do this weekly, so, you know, I don't care if you guys like it or not, I'm gonna keep doing it, because it's fun, and I like jelly beans. Um, so, big thumbs up, find me on Snapchat, find me on YouTube, or you already got me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Lime, Lime Face to Instagram, LimeWire, make sure you download my old videos on Kazaa, uh, go talk to my mom, she'll cook you some, some food, um, shout out to my boy Bro Science on that one, and uh, yeah, oh, also oh, that too, guys, Bro Science, Dom and I are gonna be doing a dope collab on his channel and also some cool videos on my channel as well. So make sure you guys stick around to see that. Um, and yeah, let's get this workout in. Are you, you ready to work out? Me? I'm not working out. Are you bro, ready to work I out? I we're getting you in summer shape, bro. <laughs> That's my fat, okay? <laughs> you want some more jelly beans? I mean, protein beans? I mean. God, with your jokes, bro.